right, welcome overlanders, adventurers, campers, all the above to the pilot episode of Arizona Overland. And today where we're going to be going is into the Coconino National Forest, which is uh, really just bordering the city of Flagstaff here in northern Arizona. Uh, as we work our way down the, uh, or I should say up, the 180 uh, going west, uh, we'll work our way into hopefully uh, going up to Schultz Pass, which is a really enjoyable, easy trail that uh, you don't need a very capable vehicle to do. Just anything mild and you should be totally fine. Now if you're wondering, the vehicle of choice for myself, the chariot that I choose, uh, I'm in a 2002 Mitsubishi Montero, not to be confused with the Montero Sport, which is a drastically different looking vehicle. That one looks more like a Ford Explorer. Um, but this, uh, this is a well-known off-roader um, in, uh, in the off-roading community especially. It's known in Australia, um, all over Europe, and uh, it's, it's just one of those vehicles that currently is not really being made anymore in the United States, or at least it's not sold. Uh, that, that might change come 2017. They're coming out with some form of hybrid, but it's definitely not going to be your choice for an off-road vehicle anymore. But this, this vehicle still, I think up to about 2006, is definitely off-road worthy. A couple of things to note, it does come with a rear locker, center lock, four high, four low. Um, all the bells and whistles to get you where you really need to be if you're not doing some serious rock crawling. But if you're doing anything uh, that just requires four-wheeler a little bit more, this car is, is far more than anything that you can need to do that. So. It's also got seven seats. I think that's a huge bonus if you are taking people on a trip. You can throw seven people in here. The back two, try to fit the small people in the back or some kids, but it's, uh, it's a great vehicle. So you will notice a sign as soon as you get at the bottom of the trail here to go up Mount Eldon. We switched from going up to Schultz to going to Mount Eldon instead now. You'll notice that there is a, a sign at the bottom to pay attention to. No low clearance vehicles. So you could probably try to bring one up here. Um, and I think if you have a Subaru or something along those lines, something with a true all-wheel drive system, you should be all right. But if you do have something with just two-wheel drive and you don't have the clearance, I wouldn't push your limits on this trail. You know, I think another reason that it's good to not necessarily fly up this trail is because there are animals. And even though they're most likely going to be scared away from the trail, the last thing that you do want to do up here is hit some kind of deer that hops out or uh, elk because there's elk up here. And if you do hit one of those, your vehicle is not going to look the same again. You're going to need to get a new one. So try to make sure that you stay within a manageable speed limit so that way you can stop if you need to. Uh, or if there is somebody coming across the trail on as you're going up Eldon Lookout Road there are a lot of mountain bike trails that cut across 
Eldon Lookout Road. So if the mountain biker, for instance, is not paying attention or we're not paying attention, uh, that could lead to a pretty uh, disastrous result. So try to keep your eyes peeled and then have fun. You know, when it comes to overlanding, I think a really important factor to keep in mind is that you always have to expect the unexpected. Uh, that, that normal uh, phrase that we're always used to hearing. It's very true. We always have to make sure that we have the proper things. Right now, everything is turning into snow. Uh, the, the weather is, you know, it's still nice out. It's not a heavy snow. It's a light snow, but it's still snowing. So I need to make sure that did I, did I bring chains if it, if it gets too heavy, if I am staying out here overnight. Uh, did I did I bring the proper equipment to tow myself out? Do I have a come along because I'm out here by myself? It's always good to come out as a team, but if you are out here by yourself, do you have the proper equipment to get yourself out of a sticky situation? rig and uh, we're pretty much near the top but the great thing is right when you get maybe within about two minutes from the top I know these are small increments but it really changes pretty quick there's actually a uh, nice little hiking trail you'll see I parked right there in a pullout and as I pan around right here here's a hiking trail that you can hike out to a, uh, a pretty good view So we're finally on the home stretch of getting to the top of Elton. Not that long of a drive, but just making sure that I take my time to enjoy it. In this next section, I'm going to throw you guys up on the roof. So that way you get a better view of what I'm going into next. It's the last little stretch, the last little climb to get to the top. Everything is still pretty much, uh, for the most part, dead with a little bit of greenery coming through. So not the most beautiful today, especially up here. It's it, higher the elevation, the later everything's going to turn. But let's get to it. Let's get to it. Don't 
take the darkness to the grave I know pain is just a place The will has been broken Don't let the fear become the hate And Don't take the sadness to the grave I know the fight is on the way When the sides have been chosen you never leave We're at the top of Mount Elvin right now, and as you can see, it's drastically different. I finally got a shot where you can actually see back down into Flagstaff. Uh, I couldn't film outside the vehicle. It's just way too loud, way too windy. The wind is uh, pushing the vehicle side to side right now as we're just sitting in place. So, uh, still beautiful. It's nature. That's a beautiful thing, but uh, definitely not the best time to do any camping up here or, uh, or a lot. But until next time, guys. Keep overlanding, keep off-roading, and make sure you guys support your national forests and national parks. Uh, you know, and make sure you always carry the provisions with you for uh, more than enough, for more than you need. And uh, leave any comments or questions that you have in the uh, box below. Thanks.